It's morning. It's 17 degrees outside. It's 61 degrees in the house when we woke up this morning. Um, we're electing today not to build a fire. We've been building fires every morning um, just to take the chill off and it's just nice to cozy up. But it's been getting so warm, it's supposed to be close to 50 today. And when the sun shines in here, it warms up to 70 degrees. So we're just gonna let it do its thing. Well, I'm gonna make some breakfast. And while I'm making breakfast, Christina is doing something very important here. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to do the daily, which is <laughs> our little thing we do in the morning. Matt usually does it before I'm even awake. So it's a little puzzle on our phone. Wordscapes. Wordscapes. Keeps my brain going. <laughs> and uh, so that's what I do. I have my cup of coffee, work on my puzzle, <laughs> and then I'll probably do a little workout. And Christina asked me to make her some eggs with some purple potatoes in them. So <laughs> I'm gonna do that this morning. Welcome to Clarity Off Grid. We're Matt and Christina, and we love traveling in our van with our dogs, Jesse and Lily Bell, exploring breathtaking places and meeting kind and generous people. When we're not traveling, we're savoring our off-grid lifestyle in our sustainable home in the spectacular Colorado mountains. If you like this video and want to help support our channel, you can send us some love by clicking the heart below this video. One of the weekly chores we have to do living off grid is we have to empty and clean the composting toilet, um, which is about a 10 minute process. Uh, and we'll do that later after we get back. But right now I'm gonna check the cocoa coir and make sure it's ready to go. Oh, this is looking really good. Just a li nice loamy consistency, not too wet. Um, just damp, um, perfect. <laughs> That alarm is letting us know that the dog food is ready to be cut and fed to the dogs. Is that clean, Lily? Is that, are those bowls clean? <laughs> We've reached the point where there's actually more dirt than there is snow. Christina was busy taking a pan over here and while she did that, Jesse took off running over here and I looked and saw a couple of elk just down over the hill. We just got back from taking the dogs for a walk and the sun puddles are already coming into the house. There's radiant heat coming off of the windows. The temperature says it's 64 in here, but it's already feeling quite warm and comfortable. We 
We're getting ready to go on a trip in March, so we need to clean the sheets on the bed. Today's a great day to do them because we've got full sun. Laundry sheets, 64 loads and a little cardboard envelope, no plastic. We like that. We decided we had to get some exercise and go skiing. We realized that skiing is really a white privilege sport. Um, and in fact, the entire town we live in is pretty homogenous. But um, we really do appreciate growing up in the mountains or living near the mountains or, you know, for whatever reason, we got to learn to ski when we were young. Mm -hmm. And we do love it. I think that it's pretty expensive sport for a couple who's retired early but we have found ways to make it work and one way that we do that is that we buy our seasons pass in the spring so we'll be buying our next year seasons pass here in the next couple of months that reduces the price a lot and then I just buy a weekday pass because I don't want to ski on the weekends anyway with the crowds and that makes it even cheaper absolutely Good. There was even a slushy spot. <laughs> <laughs> She's really good at seeing slushy spot. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> sweethearts. <laughs> Hi, Matt. Hi, Christina. Well, while we're in town, I have to return these cords. I'm kind of bummed about it because I wanted to use my old iMac as a display for my laptop so that I can get that big picture while I'm editing. And to make a very long story short, Apple has made it so that I can't use that display with my newer Mac. So the cords that I bought aren't gonna work it's a perfectly good computer, but the designed obsolescence in it in the new operating systems make it so that you can't use it as a display. And that bums me out. Go outside, you'll see me. Hey, Jesse. Hey, hey buddy. Hi. Oh, hello. Oh. Hello. Oh, yeah. Oh, Lily. Mm. Are you happy to be out of the house? 
Every once in a while, living off grid, you've just got to check the levels, make sure you got water, power, and make sure everything's working right. So I'm just going to do that right now. And the water level is at eight and a quarter inches below full, which with all the snow we've had still melting off the roof, I knew it would be pretty full. And let's see what we got for power. We are we are floating, which is the highest level. That means the batteries are full. So they're only taking a trickle charge. They're taking 11 amps, but uh, we have full power. That's all we need to know. And 28.2 uh, volts. We're good. We have loads of water and I love taking a bath this time of day when the sun is still flooding in and this room has been warming up all day long. It's going to be so nice. There's something really special about taking a bath in water heated by the sun. Are you considering building an off-grid or sustainable home? I see far too many people making costly and frustrating mistakes because they didn't get the information they needed before getting in over their heads. Whether you plan to do all the work yourself or hire professionals, you'll need a working knowledge of the features you want to incorporate into your home. You'll want to get this information sooner than later because it takes time to integrate all the information you'll want to know before designing your home. If you wait until you're ready to build, it's too late. I'm offering my online video course, Designing Your Sustainable Home 101, Dirt Cheap because I want anyone interested in sustainable or off-grid living to have access to this critical information today. Check the description below this video for a link to get started on designing your sustainable home. <laughs> Is it empty? <laughs> hey, that's Ivy's food. <laughs> Stinker. I'm gonna clean the toilet before I take my shower. It's better if you don't clean the compost box because then all of the bacteria is still in there and that'll help start the composting process for the next batch. Done. 10 minutes once a week. That's all it takes. Well, we got back too late to hang the sheets outside, so we're just going to hang them in our indoor clothesline. And they'll be dry by morning. Uh, well, we're tired, so it's been a good day. We're going to sit down and watch the Olympics. Yeah, and there's so many commercials that I'm just going to knit, keep knitting on Matt's sweater. Thanks for coming along on our day with us. And we'll, we'll see, see you, you next time. time. We love you and appreciate you. Bye. Bye.